playing the field, scoping out the options, dating around. Well, apparently there's a technical term for it, rotational dating. And this segment is all about how to collect before you select. Relationship and dating expert Sammy Winder is here to share her insights that have helped thousands of women find lasting love. But what we want to talk to Sammy about is the keys to settling down. How can we make that happen if we're dating around? Okay, so what usually happens is that a lot of smart, successful women shut down their options really quickly. So what usually happens is that a lot of smart, successful women shut down their options really quickly, get invested in one man, and then they end up finding out that he doesn't want to commit to them for the long term. So rotational dating is about dating multiple men so that you can suss out if he is truly compatible and if he is able to provide you the kind of commitment that you desire. So for a lot of women who want to settle down, have children, it makes a lot of sense to play the field and to not get exclusive with the first person who comes across or who you like, because that man may not want to get married, may not want the same things oh. as you. And so it makes a lot of sense to rotational date if you are looking for something serious. You know, Sammy, it sounds like a great idea, right? But I think as women, it's kind of hard because sometimes we might see something we like and that's what we want. And, and when you turn the tables, you might hear about guys dating around, but it's a little different when you hear about the women dating around. How many men do you say is okay to be dating at the same time? Is there a limit? So I would say there is no real limit. Um, I think what's important is to not get scandalized by the term because I think a lot of people connect rotational dating with rotational sleeping and they're not the same. So I teach rotational dating as a way to get to know many men at the same time and so play the field in that way. And you don't have to sleep with them if you're not comfortable, if you don't want to. And I think a lot of my clients end up dating anything anywhere between one to three men. I think okay. beyond that, it gets really complicated <laughs> for the smart, successful woman. Yeah, no, I could, I could see how that gets complicated. You don't want to make any uh, mistakes, get them confused. But here, here's a good question. How do you reveal to maybe the three different men you're dating that, by the way, you're not the only one? Okay, so I think honesty is important, but what is even more important is that women understand they don't owe men anything. They are not, unless a man has explicitly asked you to be exclusive, explicitly asked you to be his girlfriend, you're not his girlfriend and you don't owe him anything. So you don't have to feel guilty and you don't have to feel bad about the fact that you're playing the field because believe me, men play the field all the time. They go for the best woman and they're dating multiple women at the same time. So I think what's important here is that um, women uh, are honest when asked. So if a man asks you, um, can you be my girlfriend? I think that's the time you say, you know, I really like what we share and I like to take it slow and I'd like to get to know you more before we, you know, get exclusive. You know, Sammy, this is information that so many women that are out there looking for love really need to hear. But, but here's another question. What do you do when the man that you're uh, dating doesn't really like that you're dating other people too? What do you, how do you handle that? <laughs> That's a great question. And I think a lot of women are afraid of losing men when they realize or when the men get to know that, you know, the woman is rotational dating. But here's the thing. If you can be honest and upfront about what you're looking for. So for example, I rotationally dated myself. And when I met my husband and he asked me to be his girlfriend, I said to him, you know, um, I really like you but I'm not looking to be in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. I used to do that at university and in my teenage years, I'm actually looking for a husband. And so till you are certain that I am the person for you, not just for now, but forever, it makes a lot of sense that I keep my options open. And at first he didn't like it, 
But two days later, he got back and he had stepped up like he had never <laughs> before because I think he understood that he had to really step up his game and claim me so that he could get me off the market. Right. If you like it, you've got to put a ring on it. And as you said, when you're dating, you can kind of, um, you know, you don't have to be sleeping, you know, rotational sleeping. So when would that physical intimacy come into play? Okay. So I think... Uh, it's important that we don't judge, um, you know, when women want to, you know, uh, explore physical intimacy with a man. But I generally recommend not to, you know, get into each other's pants at least minimally before three months, because that's the amount of time you really need to get to know somebody. And you really need to suss out if there's compatibility um, at different levels versus just, you know, chemistry and, you know, liking each other in terms of physical attraction. So. The funny thing about rotational dating is that the non-serious men, they just get filtered out. Like yeah. if you just play the field three months and you don't sleep with the guys and you date many men, you will see that all the players, all the all the men who just want to get in your pants, they're not looking for something serious. They're just going to disappear from your funnel and only serious men will remain in the funnel. And that's when I say, you know, if you're going to get sexually, uh, if you're going to be sleeping with a man, then it the other men in your rotation deserve to know. And that's a conversation you need to have that, you know, I'm, I'm going to become sexually exclusive with you, but I'm going to be seeing other men at the same time that I'm not going to be sleeping with. So yes, it's yeah. an art that I teach. And <laughs> Definitely it a lot need of to confidence. communicate that part of it. And yeah. you know, the other thing Sammy says is don't feel guilty about it if you want a rotational date women. All right. Thank you so much. And if you want more dating advice, you can visit SammyWonder.com.